Hey guys, Joseph Sankar here from Creative Piano Academy. Welcome back, and today I've got an epic sound in, sort of Hollywood style piano pattern for you. Kind of sounds like this. So the keen watchers and listeners amongst you will have noticed that this is the same piano pattern that I used, uh, or that I hinted at, in the video called something like um, Beefy Left Hand Piano Accompaniment Trick, something like that. Um, link in the cards. So we are going to go over this Hollywood style piano pattern step by step, and uh, it's a little bit more difficult than I usually put up, but beginners, you are gonna get something out of this video, even if it's just the right hand, it's gonna really start working those fingers. So do stick around, let's roll that intro and get cracking. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well as that little bell thingy next to it so you know when I upload new videos. Also go to creativepianoacademy.com for my latest premium video, The Best Adult Piano Practice Plan. So the first thing we're going to do is look at this right hand. Let's see if we can sort that out first. Um, get into this position right here, which is a second inversion C minor chord. So I want our thumb and our first finger on the G. First fi uh, second finger onto the C here, and our fourth finger onto the E flat. Okay, so it's this chord right here. Now, I'll play it to you first and then we'll break it down. So it sounds like this. Okay, now, really important. Most of the patterns I put up are in four time, which means we count to four and then reset back to the beginning for four beats per bar. This is actually in um, a three time feel. It's got a three time feel instead of a four time feel. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's something a little bit different. So it gives you a bit of variety to have a go at, but also it's got this really nice epic -y Hollywood feel to it as well, especially when you put it in strings and it's, it, anyway. So for that, we're gonna count to three. So we get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Notice how it repeats every, every three beats, okay? So let's break this down. Nice and slowly. We've got E flat, G, C, G, E flat, G. And that's it, okay? One, two, three. Now, it's really good because it's got this illusion because if you put a bunch of those together, it sounds like a longer pattern than it actually is. So if we put two of those together, it sounds like this. One, two, three. One, two, three, okay? And to finish off the whole uh, chord, we're just gonna put four of those together and that's it. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, okay? So that's four of those patterns put together and that's the, the full first chord here. So again. Hopefully you will start to feel a bit of a burn, you know, when you're practicing this. The more you play it, the more this, these muscles have to work and you will, it'll start doing you some good. Now, the next chord, B flat. So we've got, um, so we're gonna use our thumb on the B flat, our third finger on the D and our little finger on the F. And it follows exactly the same pattern, guys. It's, it's exactly the same. So that's an F, B flat, D, B flat, F, B flat. Okay, so again, F, B flat, D, B flat, F, B flat. And then again, that just repeats itself four times. So we get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's four times. So from the beginning, we've got this so far. Now the third chord, which is an E flat major, we're just gonna move this, exactly the same fingering, we're gonna move this finger, this third finger up to the E flat, and the little finger moves up to the G, okay? And we get this. Okay, same pattern. Following that same um, sort of, we've got top note, bottom note, middle note, bottom note, top note, bottom note. Okay, that's the pattern, so again. Okay, so 
the fourth chord is a little bit more complicated. We're going to start off using this chord right here, okay? And we're using our first finger, third finger, and little finger. And this is a B flat sus4. But the point is, it's like, it's, like it's, it's got a bit of tension there. It's like, I want it to resolve. I want it to go home. I want it to go somewhere else. So I need to bring this, this uh, E flat to the D. And now I was like, there's the relief. Now it's resolved, okay? So for the first two bars, so the one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? It follows the same pattern as before. But then the only difference is we move this E flat to the D and we get this. Okay, so I'll play that once more. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So that's the whole of the right hand pattern. Now if I'll put that together. pattern and it sounds quite nice on its own you know you could just use this pattern to work those muscles and get if you're not quite familiar with the black keys and those those chords yet then you can use this pattern to just have a little bit of a get a foot in the door with those different kind of chords you can play around with okay so that's the right hand left hand this is where we're bringing the grounding technique. If you haven't watched that video yet, then make sure you do. I'll stick it in the cards. It's really important because it goes over from, so you know, from first principles, how to practice this, uh, this technique. So if you're finding this hard, check out that video. Um, but essentially in the left hand, we're going to use the grounding technique and follow the same chords as I was using in the right. So if we break that down, our first chord, our first bar here, we've got C and then this C minor chord here, which I'm using the second inversion. And we basically just play that twice. So we go C and then C minor, C, C minor, okay? And that's it, okay? We're gonna jump between these chords. Now, if I bring the right hand in, uh, just, just purely so you can see how it's taking shape here, this is our first, our first chord. So it's already sounding quite nice. Now, when we move to the B flat in the right hand, which is this one, we're going to move down and play the B flat in the left. So we're grounding that B flat here, okay? And I'll just use the root chord. You can choose whatever chord you want in the left, but for now, you know, you can choose this one if you want. Sounds a bit richer, but I'm gonna just use the, um, the root chord. So here, B flat and then root chord. B flat root chord. So if we put that together, we get this. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. Okay? Now, um, I'll, I'll put the right hand in so you can hear that chord change. Already that's sounding quite nice. So, the next chord, E flat. So I'm gonna ground the E flat right here, and then I'll play this, I don't know, what is it? Second inversion, second inversion E flat chord. So here, that's the B flat, the E flat, and the G. And then from here, back, to, uh, actually, I'll leave that for a second because it's a little bit more complicated. But if we go from the beginning now, we've got C, flat and then E flat okay that's as far as we've got and now after E flat we go back to the B flat but this is where things change up a little bit to match to match that resolve that that's those separate chords that we put in the right hand on that fourth chord so here watch carefully we've got B flat and then we've got this um, B flat sus4 here, so that's a B flat, an E flat, and an F, okay? And then, without going back down again, we just resolve to the normal root position B flat, and then we go back down again. So that sounds like this, B flat, B sus4, 
resolve to the B, um, B flat root position and then back down. Okay, so we get this. Now, if I put all that together from the beginning, that left hand part sounds like this. And then we just repeat. Now, if I put the right hand in with that, sounds like this. Okay, so that's the complete pattern. It's taking shape now. Sounds really nice. Um, a few ways you can practice this is don't get stressed out about trying to play the whole thing at once. Get used to the chords first. You know, practice the right hand, then practice the left hand. Don't forget, you can put this into the best adult piano practice plan. Link in the cards. All of these are separate exercises that you can shove into your practice routine. So once you've got used to this pattern as it is, you know, you, you're managing to move nice and smoothly using those uh, grounding notes and these specific inversions, then you can take it one step further and add in the low octave as well, okay? This is difficult because it means that you've got a much larger uh, jump in that left hand, but if you can manage it, it sounds really epic, like this. So we're adding even more richness in that left hand. feel like you're playing something epic right there. It doesn't get boring, put it that way. So there we go, a really nice epic Hollywood style piano pattern for you. Don't get stressed out over this, you know, it is, it is more difficult than, than the ones I normally put up. But even if you just get that right hand pattern out of it and you get, get used to it, then don't forget this video is always gonna be here. So as you progress through your piano journey, it's always here for you to, to come back to and add in that left hand. I'm putting together a premium course right now containing 30 of these piano patterns. So you can really work those core skills in melodic, fun and interesting ways, uh, which is kind of what my channel is all about. If you check the link in the card right here or the information box down below, you can grab yourself a copy of a sneak peek video I did taking a piano pattern, not this one specifically, but a different piano pattern I did and how you can turn it into a really nice piece of music, you know, expand on it and turn it into a, a piece of music with like sections and a structure and everything. So do check that out because it's gonna be in the style of this uh, piano patterns course I'm putting together. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel and I will see you, I will see you in the next video.